Hello everyone. So last time we had done the migration of GG process. So on the same line, let's see how to do the upgrade. So if you remember in migration, say so like uh, so the GG by the GG processes were moved from one server to another. So we can say from one home to another home in a different server. Now, how to do upgrade on the same line? So let me first draw the things. This is your source database. That's my target. So here, uh, I like to draw the file system in this format, in a square format for now. Uh, that would be my network over here. So let me draw even the target file system like this. So this file system is, I mean, it's uh, source side only, okay? It's existing inside only. Now, this is my source system over here. Let me check the path. This to g 12.20. Let me copy this. So that's my source file system. Target file system. Okay. Target is, I mean, first I'll show you how to upgrade the source, the source side processes, and then I'll show you the target. Okay, so that's your file system where your GG binaries and all your process trails and all they reside over there. So let me draw the process also. That's my extract, that's my path. And here you go. Okay. And my replicate over here. Let me draw my local trail also. Local trail is means EXT trail. And here are my RMT trail. So, what is the standard flow over here? Extract will read from the redo archives, it will write to the trail file, local trail. Pump will read from them, send it over network, collector process will write the RMT trail, which will be read by the replicate and apply to the target. Simple flow, standard, right? Okay. Now, uh, before going forward, so let me show you what version I am in. So I am in Golden Gate version 12.2. For which database Oracle 12C? Same I have in source also. 12.2 for 12C in database. I hope you remember from 12C you have different binaries with respect to the database version. What I mean by that is Golden Gate to version is 12.2. So you'll have different binaries for 11G database and 12C database under 12.2 OGG. Okay. So now everything is same here. So first I would like to show you the format. Okay, I'd like to show you the format in which the extract will write. So as you know, DG version here is 
same over here is 12.2. What happens in a in the normal flow? Extract the read from the Burrito archives and it will write the trail file in the same version as sort of the golden gate binary. So now it is 12.2 with the trail file format or the format is 12.2 or the version essentially you can say that similarly pump is also in 12.2 binary so it will write the rmt trail also in 12.2 for 12.2 trail format trail file format is 12.2 okay if you want to check this let's check the report file of one of the extracts Okay, so let's go forward. Yes, here you go. Output file, that's the trail file, right? Is using format release 12.2. And if you check, there is no special parameter in my extract. That is by default writing in 12.2, which is due to the which is the version of the binary. Now let's work on how to upgrade. All right. So for example, uh, I am upgrading. Uh, that's my source, right? It's in this two. For example, if I have space in this one file system, so I'll so file for file system. I'm just using this rectangular box to showcase it. So let's install like this, like this one OGG. Now let me first choose twelve point three. Well, okay, so. What is 12.3? OGG version is 12.3. But I will be going directly to 19C. But well, let me explain the the style is same. Or the steps are same. Okay, so now first thing is what we have to migrate the process from this existing home, right? From this home to here. So if you whatever the migration class, it will be clear, but still let me jot down all the steps. I'll use a notepad over here. Space is not much. So upgrade steps. For source of the when I say source OGG, I mostly mean by extract and pump, but it does not matter even if I have the for application. I'll show you that case also. First, let me show you a basic case, then I will upgrade it as and when we go forward. So, here, copy the global file to new OGG home, copy the parameter file, root file if you have any, to new OGG home. Be the credential store also. Credential store file or set up in new OGG home. Uh, create the directory structure for the trail file. What do, what do I mean by this? Now, if you see for this extract, the trail file is under DIR DAD, I mean, the standard one, but I just don't store uh, in DIR DAD. I'll create some folders, some directory stuff, which is then, it makes easy for me also. I can, if uh, I have 10 extracts and all the extracts write their trail directly in one folder is dir dat it will be a big mess so just to organize we create some directory structures over here 
same we see my this extract it's on put a different folder I can show you that yeah yeah so we have some directory structure so same thing you have to create in the new etg home after that copy the trails trade files to new ogg home so copy the trail file is the la the well, last trade file would be fine or the latest one on which the extra was writing that trade okay this is done now this is now here we go with the checkpoint step so then copy the checkpoint file of extract to new OGG home now for pump you have two options as you had seen in the migration class either you copy the checkpoint file or you recreate it checkpoint file or recreate pump file copy checkpoint file when when path is relative recreate recreate pump and path is absolute what do you mean to say this thing just do an info pump info p star or pump star if you see the path it is dot slash it's a relative path what would be the absolute path here like this right gg home Or this I would say relative path. Or this absolute path. Is when you have the whole file system, like this two. OGG twelve point two C twelve, right? So when you have the relative path, just copying the checkpoint file is fine. Okay, but in case of absolute power, very simple, right? It is, I mean, it is hard coding the, I would say, the mount point, right, of the existing TG home. And if you copy the checkpoint file in this home, see the mount point changes, right? So, ah, but in case if the mount point is not changing, which it would be might be true in case of migration but not in upgrade because you're gonna install everything in a new gg home right so that's all or i have seen few cases where people don't store the trade file in the gg home itself they store it outside so we have one parameter if i read the collected everything it's just allow output directory okay so similar i mean uh i can have some spell checks here but yeah so with this we give the path where it should be stored you know like this and all so this will store outside the region so that's another case i'll not go to okay now this holds true for what applicator also So now assume you have done all these steps. So what is the end result now? Okay, so first step, since you have stopped it, right, you have, okay. Yeah. I'm very sorry, my, my bad. I mean, so stop all the process first. Stop all the process and stop the manager, all right? And after that, you have to copy all these files. Now, so, when you stop all the processes, so what is the end result? So extract is currently not reading from anything, it is stopped, right? So when you complete the migration, just take this and apply over here. So now what has happened? The GG binaries have been changed, that is 12.3.
So now at this case, I'll just drop this also since the pump is not sending any trails for now. Okay. Now forget about the old home for now. Okay. Just because it is stopped, right? So now let's focus on the new home here. So now when you start the extract, extract it from the Purdue archive and it will write to the trail file, right? But now here, what would be the trail file format? Similar to the GG binary. Trail file format is 12.3. And same thing, pump will read from that. And since pump is also in 12.3 binary, it will write the target trail not in 12.2 but in 12.3 trail format now but what happens over here it will write in this but my tg over here is 12.2 it's a lower version so this will replicate Is for replicate, it will completely fail because it cannot read trail file which is of higher version of from it. So this is what you need to take care while you are upgrading the source side first. So so basic example when it is from higher to lower. Okay. The replication flow. Replication flow. It's from higher version to lower version. So at that point, we need to add one parameter format release and lower. For, and here we have to give one version which should be OGG version of lower GG lower lower GG home. Let me have it over here. Alright. So now what we have to do to solve this. So let me go back. So let me just copy this and keep here. Right. Okay. Now, what I will do before starting, okay, before starting the extract in the new GG home, after this parameter, okay, after the trade file parameter. That is after the ext trail parameter here. I will add. Let me write it down here in the paint itself. I will add format release. I'll give the version of the target 12.2. So here I'm forcing the extract not to write the trail in 12.3 format which is of its existing binary but to write the trail file in a lower version that is 12.2 so now extract which is writing here is of 12.2 format and not of 12.3 similarly in the pump after this RMT trail, okay, let me take this also. Okay. 
I will add format release 12.2. So here I instructed the pump to write in the target this RMT tray in 12.2 version. Well, now we are good. So because my replicate which is in 12.2, it can read the train file from the same version also, or the lower version. Simple. So this is how we need to take care, very important, when we are upgrading the source side first. So since we upgrade the source side first, we have to take care of the trail file format. That is, we need to give it, we need to match it with the target version in short. Simple. If you don't do it, the target site will fail since it cannot read trail file from higher version. I mean, uh, we can correlate this with even the data pump also. How? In data palm that is exporting for expdp impdp if you take and export from 12c database and try to import in 11g database sorry it will fail for this to succeed uh you need to add version plus 11.2 in export right so for this to succeed you have to add this clause version 11.2 while you're taking export from a 12c database on the same principle if source is of 11g then and target is 12c then no issue then no need of the version first uh, the 12c database is I mean, it can take the dump of 11G database. I think this is related to the concept called as backward, backward compatibility. I have the I spelled it right. Okay. Same way it goes for the GG version also. So, again, okay. OGG version higher. source OGG version higher then add format release okay. by version of target okay if source is lower version source OGG version and target then nothing to worry then it's fine because if the target is for example 18c and your source is in 12.3 so what it's fine because it is it is having the backward compact capability so 18c gg home can read the trade file of 12.3, 12.2 and so on. Okay, friends, so that is how you need to take care while you are upgrading the source end. Okay, now we will see this the same in the practical also. Okay, so before that, let me explain how to deal when you are upgrading target. Now, since I have told you that for nothing much to do, but let us see that graphically also so that you can visualize it when you see it in the practical you get a link among it most important thing is to first understand the logic doing upgrade migrations are just some steps that's it but when which to do that's the whole game so let me this is the source file system show the network side also right now here is my target file system my 
my source TV, target TV, use the same home which I have here. The OGG version is for now same. Yep, here we go. That's my source 12.2. Let's do that again. Take it from here so to save some time of going to draw. Okay, so what is the standard flow here? Extract will read from the source. If you do, it will write to the local trade. Form field read from that. Will send over the network. The server collector will write the RNT trail over a ticket. We'll read from it and write to the target. That's the standard flow which we know from. Now, same thing. What if I first decide to update the target GG1? So again, a new one point over here. Nice, for example, slash user one. Just for our understanding, let me make it as user two. In short, I'm just changing the mount point. The directory has been changed, all right? Very, very simple way to explain. Target, OGG. Now, for example, I'm upgrading it directly to 19C, all right? So, OGG here is 19C. For DB to LC. Okay. So now, when I decide to upgrade the target first, so it means I'll have to stop the what applicate, stop the manager, everything. Right. So before that, as we had seen in the migration, also you need to stop the incoming pumps. First, stop all the incoming funds. How to see the incoming funds? It has been already shared in that class. So, first, what I'll do, let me stop this pump. No need to stop the extract, it's fine. I stop the pump. Okay, then after that, Stop the over applicate. Okay, stop the over applicate. Then stop the manager and target OGG. Right. So here I am assuming that in the new GG home you have installed and kept the 19C GG, right? Same way it goes in the source side also. Okay, okay now we have stopped GG, all right. Then again, copy the global file, param file, include file, everything. Right tree structure for the RMT trails. Similarly to this, right? since it's in the under DIID, we have so many different folders, right? We have to create that directory structure over there. Copy the trails to the new GG home. That's this when I say new is this. Copy credential store, set up it. you feel. Then copy checkpoint file, replicate in case of relative path, or recreate in case of 
absolutely fine. This has been shown in the uh, migration class also and also for this whole site. So the steps are same. In short, we are just migrating from one DG home to another until this point. So once you do all these steps, what happens? And the whole set from here is from here, right? But since this were a is stop, so currently it's not doing anything, right? It's not even reading from the train. Even the pump is not there, and it is stop. So now what you need to do is as I explained in the first session. The trail file format here would be same as the GG1, it's 12.2. Pump here. Now, before I start the pump, I have to update the RMT host to the new GG home, right? Once I update, update RMT host and the manager port, okay, with new OGG home. And they started to write starting to start to write in the new mark point or the new gg right and here also the format tell is what 12.2 and that's it my then you can start the word applicate because my word applicate is in 19c for gg and the 19C binary can read the lower version trail file. It can read the 12.2. That's it. So migration, when you migrate the target, it's, I mean, you don't need to worry about the format trail files because, okay, because due to the backward compatibility, uh, since the target will be on the higher version, it can read trail files from the lower versions. Okay, friends. So now I'll stop here. In the next class, I will show you the practical. Thank you, everyone.